Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Kangwa makes shocking revelation about Ed Galungu collecting state benefits. Edgar's resignation from active politics. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish. The last part is amazing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. In his letter to a Lusaka resident, Joseph Usenga, dated January 18, 2022, on paying of benefits to a former president who is in active politics. Acting Secretary to Cabinet, Patrick Kangwa, stated that I wish to confirm that the 60th President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, informed Cabinet Office through a letter dated 28th August 2021 of his decision to resign as Patriotic Front PF President and indeed from active politics. On the basis of his resignation, Cabinet Office proceeded to provide the pension benefits with effect from that date. According to records held at cabinet office, the 60th president is not in active politics and has resigned from the PF presidency. Clearly, Edgar has put cabinet office in an awkward position. He is also seriously impacting negatively on the patriotic front. It seems he still wants to eat with both hands. He gets state funds benefits at the same time continue with his political maneuvers. 16 days after the purported resignation which he communicated to cabinet office, Edgar went ahead to appoint key individuals to the PF. Only a PF party president had the mandate to appoint individuals to party senior positions. The appointment letters were signed by him as party president. Clearly, his letter to cabinet was deceptive for him to get the fringe retirement benefits. What kind of a person is Edgar? He must come out clean without ambiguity that he has resigned or retired, that he is no longer an active PF president or crucial godfather. He can't enjoy both desirable but manually exclusive alternatives. An unknown author said, there are things that we never want to let go of, people we never want to leave behind. But keep in mind that letting go isn't the end of the world, it's the beginning of a new life. And John Combat Zinn said, it's not a matter of letting go, you would if you could. Instead of let it go, we should probably say, let it be. But it is also his own constitutional right, if he so desires, to actually carry on with PF activities until his motives die down. But he can't be both a retiree and a PF prime driver. The choice is yours, sir. You have made several changes to the party leadership since that overwhelming electoral defeat in August 2021. And the party from that meeting you held at Ndozo Lodge, elected to have its elective conference in June. But Edgar caused the current predicament in the PF. Had he allowed an elective general conference ahead of the August presidential and general elections, all this confusion would not have been there. PF gave Edgar a blank check to appoint and deploy people he liked to central committee positions. He did it in the very manner he had suggested, wanted that he would hand over power to himself. Of course, after August 12 pause, which opportunity unfortunately eluded him, and some of those leaders have since resigned. Samuel Mkupa has resigned. 
Davis Mwila has resigned. So the entire central organ of the party has no elected leader. The PF as it were is deaf, blind and dumb. Is this what Edgar and the party desires? The death of the might bot? Phil Jackson advises that leadership is not about forcing your will on others. It's about mastering the art of letting go. While David Elliott said, I welcomed who I was and left behind who I was not. And Shannon L. Odom Aptry put it in saying, Forget what hit you, but never forget what it taught you. If there is anything that led to Edgar's mortifying electoral defeat, it is that craving to cling onto power. There is time for everything. More news to come my lovely viewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.